Hey, what's up? We're going to learn about how to shoot good video with your iPhone today. The iPhone 4S shoots 1080p HD video, so let's take advantage of this tool that you've already got. Learn how to do some great framing, learn how to get some great shots, good lighting, and how to do an interview. Let's go! The first thing you want to think about is finding a good location for your shoot. That means finding a place that has really good sound. <laughs> if you're shooting inside, Try and find a place that isn't crowded right? so you can get good sound. <laughs> and if you're shooting outside, be aware of environmental sounds. Traffic, cars honking, trucks, sirens, and even planes overhead. So you want to find a nice quiet spot to do your shot. Some place where you can adjust the environment. And if you can find a place like this that has curtains or a nice carpet, that will help to reduce the amount of echoes that you get in your audio. So you want to look for a place that has really good lighting. Look for something that's balanced and consistent. Also, don't be afraid to turn lights on or off to see if that improves your shot. If you light your subject from overhead, it'll make them look creepy. Is this so real life? When you're framing up a shot, try not to put your subject in front of a window. You want the light to be behind the camera, not to be behind your subject. Look what happens. One of the secrets to good cinematography is to really think carefully about what's in the background of your shot Try to avoid a shot that has a lot of cluttery stuff in the background. Keep things simple so that the emphasis is on the subject. Avoid a background that might change. That way, you can cut the piece later. So when you're framing up your shot for an interview, try to frame it up so that the person that's talking is on one side of the frame, and they're looking across that open space in the frame to the person that's asking the questions outside of the frame. If you frame it up so that the person that's talking is on the edge, well that looks weird. What's all this space doing behind my head? I'm talking to someone that's right there, man. Okay, so when you're framing up your shot with your camera phone, don't shoot in portrait mode. This is stupid. Shoot in landscape mode. This is fresh. Now, your camera is actually recording more information than what you see on the screen here. Double tap to see the actual frame of what you're shooting. Once you've got the frame all set up, single tap to adjust focus and single tap to adjust exposure. So for the last part of our video, we're going to talk about some basic interview techniques. The first thing to keep in mind is when you're asking people questions, try to get the subject to rephrase the question back to you on camera. Let's run through that. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Cold cereal with soy milk. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had cold cereal and soy milk for breakfast this morning. So another good interview technique is to try to stay quiet. Phrase your question, stay quiet all the way through their answer. Don't agree, don't clear your throat, don't sneeze. And then when you think the subject is finished, stay quiet just a little longer, because if you immediately jump in with the next question, it'll be really hard to cut. If we're gonna do an interview, when the interview is done, try to think about what the subject talked about and then see if you can go and capture footage that illustrates what that subject talked about. This is called getting good coverage. It's also called getting B-roll. So let's draw that out for you. Oh, some of my favorite things are corn chips and walks with the dog. I love to eat sriracha. I'm really into the art of Shepherd Fairy. I like computers. I like fans. I like houseplants. And I like giant, empty offices. Okay, so let's review. When you're shooting a video with your iPhone, you want to find a nice, quiet location that has good, consistent light. You want to frame up your shot in a way that makes sense. And you want to conduct your interview so that it will be easy to edit later. I hope you learned something today. My name is Pete Nice, PeteNice.com. Thanks for watching.